A Utah Highway Patrol trooper who fell from an overpass in February while deploying spike strips during a police chase is now back home. I'm Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold. It was just last month that I spoke with UHP trooper Steve Odie Meyer shortly after he was moved to a rehab facility in Murray. And just three weeks later, he's now continuing his recovery from his home in Erda. It's just a big relief to be here. Back home and on the mend. I had a ramp in my garage so I could hop in the house and then we'd move furniture around because the wheelchair won't fit through places. And little tasks like washing your hands and brushing your teeth and getting into bed is a different thing. Adjustments Utah Highway Patrol Trooper Steve Meyer is having to make. It just seems like it happened a couple of days ago. Trooper Meyer is referring to February 13th when he deployed spike strips here on an overpass at 7200 West near I-80 to stop an SUV that was fleeing from police. As that SUV swerved around spike strips in the northbound lane, Trooper Meyer says he moved to not get hit. That's pretty much the last thing I remember. I, I, I'm assuming that I hit, had a, uh, probably about a two and a half foot barrier there. Even though I thought I was off of the structure, I wasn't quite. I was right on the edge of it. and uh, that. That step back tripped me and I just went over backwards. He says he fell 33 feet to the ground, landing on his left side. The DPS guys uh, between the helicopter pilot and our assistant in the back were able to make it. They just made a decision to load me and go. Um, and that's what saved my life, really. Trooper Meyer sustaining a slew of injuries in the fall. I have 15 fractures in my pelvis. Including to his heart. It slid basically outside of the, the sack and into under my armpit. After spending time in the hospital and at a rehab facility in Murray, where Fox 13 News spoke to him last month, he was able to return home. Do you feel like it's a miracle that you're here today? Oh, I 100% miracle. Uh, several miracles have happened. Through it all, he's had support from near and far, from complete strangers and organs sending him a blanket, to his family and fellow UHP troopers. Steve's supposed to be here for a reason. We're just grateful for that. We, we really look forward to his progress. Family is number one, and I can't say any, enough about my wife. My son was there every day um, checking on me, so what a, what a miracle. While Trooper Meyer was in a wheelchair on Thursday, he did say that there's a good probability that he will be able to walk again. Just more good news in a miraculous recovery that he hopes will help achieve his goal of eventually returning to work. Here in Murray, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.